we are looking at decomposition okay do you know what is decomposition okay you can see the picture on the right uh, that is decomposition basically the 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 whatever material is there is being broken down into smaller bits and pieces right can you tell me something that will decompose hmm? yeah can you tell me something that does not decompose Or maybe does not decompose so quickly. Plastic is one example, right? Plastic. What else? Can styrofoam decompose? Yeah, it doesn't decompose so easily, right? E. Oh my god, do you see this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so that's decomposition. Huh? So basically, it's breaking down. It's a process by which organic substances are broken down into simpler, simpler matter. Okay, right? Decompose. So decomposition is the reason why um, we still exist today. Yeah. So if there is no decomposition, basically everything will be used up, and then there's no more materials you uh, left to build other stuff. So first one. Now let's take a look at this. I already gave you the answer, right? What is this process? Decomposition. Okay, which I written. So this is after some weeks, the leaves turn them black and use as fertilizer. So without changing any of the apparatus, suggest two methods how Simon could make the dead leaves turn to black faster. So uh, we want to know what will speed up the decomposition process what can be used to speed up the decomposition process add, add mm. animals or decomposers add decomposers okay okay yeah um, no it's more like uh, put the temperature in in a warmer location okay why because decomposition takes place faster decomposition takes place faster in a when the temperature is higher right so Right, so when the temperature is higher, decomposition happens faster. What about the next one? Method 2, can you see? Okay, method 2. What's the second method? <coughs> okay, if you look at the this one, this box experiment that they have, uh, do you think there's enough holes? Perhaps if you increase the number of holes, uh, yeah, so increase... the number of holes so it increase the number of holes um, there's more air right when there's more air what happened so more air because for decomposition to occur right it actually takes up oxygen so more air will also increase the rate of decomposition ok more air there's more air increases the rate of decomposition right so that's decomposition for the first one okay next one all right so i'm gonna prepare a setup so why the lime water turn chalky so there's only one reason see i haven't even seen the experiment though. i know why already yeah right so uh so carbon dioxide gas is Yes, it's present. But you have to ask me why is there carbon dioxide gas? Where did that come from? The seed. Mm -hmm. What about the seed? It follows in the face. 
No. no Not yet, lah. Uh. Yeah, respiration, right? Because this is present. Uh, so, carbon dioxide is present. And it came from the germinating seeds. Right? Some of the seeds did not germinate. What happened to these seeds after a week? D word, right? One week after they don't decompose. Uh, okay, I just said the answer. <coughs> <laughs> right, they will decompose and die. Okay? Decompose and die. Why? Because um, the presence of air, warm, and water allows bacteria to act on it. Okay, this is what happens to those that don't germinate. They would decompose and die. Right, we'll try to go through as many as we can, right, today. Okay, this one. Okay, Emily removed the food and water carrying tubes. Um, and the food carrying tubes. Okay, so after some time, observe that leaf X had withered but not leaf Z. Why? Leaf <coughs> X had withered. So leaf X is the one at the top. But not leaf Z. So position P, uh, what did they remove? Food and water carrying tubes. So here, both the food and the water carrying tubes has been removed. Okay? So if the food and water carrying tubes are removed, basically, can leaf X get any uh, food? Can. But can he get any water? No. Okay? So, so the reason is uh, why is it leaf X reader but not leaf Y? Because water can still be. To leave Z but not leave X. Hence it cannot photosynthesize and it read it. So at the same time, Emily also observed the swelling above the cut at position Q. So there's a swelling here, a swelling at this part. So why would there be a swelling at this part? The food. Food, yeah, what about the food? Made in Z. Yeah, so food made in Z cannot what? be transported to the roots. Okay, so that's not all, but you have to explain why it died. Why did the plant die? The root dies and the plant and no longer take in water. It dies too. <laughs> it reminds me of Groot. <laughs> yeah. How come Groot don't need water? Because it has a mouth, right? It can drink water, right? It doesn't take in water from the roots, right? Then next question, huh? Nobody ever asked, you know. How come it can grow? Huh? No plant, it has no leaves, right? Does it have leaves? Yeah. Okay, that's Groot huh? from the Avengers, right? Then we watched. Oh. Yeah, you watched all of them. How about uh, which one is your favorite? Can, can you I like I like the Guardians of the Galaxy Part One. I like both. 
You like Go? Oh, yeah, I like the part one. I think the part one is quite cool because of the music. I like the 70s, 80s music. Huh? Quite cool. Groot. <laughs> then Baby Groot, right? Next. Okay, so Ali is a dancer. As he dances, his real breathing changes. Um, okay, for the group, describe the changes in the following when Ali dances. What happens to the volume of air intake? As he is dancing, increases, right? Can you see the volume of air intake? It's over here. It's right here. Okay, so um, it increases. So as Ali dances, the volume of air intake increases. So Ali's breathing rate, how about his breathing rate? Yeah, the rate of breathing also increases. Okay, so you see, this is described. Do you have to explain why? No, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't have to explain. It's just described. So describe how oxygen reaches Ali's legs as Ne dances. As he dances. How does it go to his leg? <laughs> okay, the lung, the lung, the lung, and then what? The lung, the blood goes to the lung. Then the leg. Okay, so uh, you described part of it, right? The circulatory system, right? <coughs> that brings the... So let, let's start from the oxygen in the environment. The environment. Okay, so the oxygen in the environment goes into his lungs as he breathes in. The, okay, so what happens next? Goes in the lungs and then. Goes into the body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lungs is really in the body, right? So in the lungs, <coughs> what happened? It's transported to the blood. Okay. Yeah. So, the. Uh, okay. Let, right. It. It is. Um. Absorbed. into the bloodstream right so it goes into the bloodstream and then what happens in the lungs then the blood the blood <coughs> is circulated Circulated, circulated the around the body, right, and hands and up at the legs. Okay, right. So you can talk about it in different ways. Alright, this kind of oxygen, alright, so that's it, right, ends up in the legs. So you see, when you are doing a description, you are supposed to start here and end there. Start the end in the legs, okay? Next. Okay, leaves have tiny openings called stomata. Um, based on the table, the plant photosynthesizes the most from 10 to 4. Why? Why does the plant photosynthesize the most? from 10 to 4 the number is 4 hmm? what? the size of the thing is 4 no what happens from 10 to 4? versus uh, at night start with the S yeah, is the most, is the highest. Right, so light intensity is the highest. Or you can say light intensity is the highest, right? Not the amount of sunlight. 
Okay lah, amount of sunlight is okay. The amount of sunlight is the highest uh, between 10 to 4. Hence the rate of photosynthesis is higher than other time slots. Right? Which means that the coral field are very busy yeah, during this time. So I explain how the change in the size of Sumatra can be a disadvantage to a plant growing in a desert. So what happens to the Sumatra size? It increase, right? How, why is it bad? Eat the plant. Huh? Desert no water. Yeah, desert no water <coughs> and so cannot gain water. Um. Desert not enough. It's dry. It's a dry environment. Okay, so we say the desert is dry. And having big stomata size will cause the plant to lose what? Water. Yeah, lose too much water, which is very precious, especially in the desert, right? There's no water, you know? No water, what do they drink? Cactus, gotta store it in the stem. Okay, so what do you think May May did in the experiment to ensure that the results were reliable? Repeated. Yep, right, so she measured the size of multiple stomata. Stomata and took the average. So not easy, huh? it's not that bad. Huh? This one is quite okay. Right, find the average. Just find the average. You'll be fine. Next one. Right, so next. So a large number of snakes were killed by some hunters. Explain how this activity affected the population of the food producer. So snakes were killed. More rats, more fruit In bats. Okay. Right? <coughs> yep. Okay, proportion of plant decrease. Will decrease. Okay, so you gotta explain why. There are fewer snakes to eat the red and fruit bed and more plants are eaten. Okay? Alright, so a huge forest fire broke out. Uh, two consumers were able to escape to another island. Which are the two? Which two do you think will be able to escape? To another island. Is it the snake? And the snake escape. Eagle and the bat. Yeah. Yes. Eagle and fruit. I can't really ask this. Why? Because both of them have wings which enable them to fly and migrate to another location. Okay? Yeah, it's quite common sense though, this one. I don't know why they ask this. You find common sense. Right. So sometimes questions are like that. Like that. Right. You don't have to overthink mm -hmm. the situation. That's right. Okay, so Jack, which pot G or H collected more water? Yep, so water comes down, right? Um, same amount of soil or place in the water. So they water, water this thing. Water this thing. So which one would have more water? H. H. Yep. That's right. Why? Uh, 
uh, why is it H? What's the what's the difference between the two plants? You got the nectar at the end. Was yeah. The more. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's what you said, right? But why? Can you see the word why? Uh, explain. So every time you have to explain, you cannot just describe. You gotta explain why. Why do they collect them more? Water. What's the difference between the two plants? They're cool. Hmm? The the plant in pot H has bigger mm. leaves. Okay. Hence, there are more stomata, which means more water vapor will condense to become liquid water. Right? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Is this okay? Okay. Uh, do you understand what's going on? Yeah, more leaves, right? Uh, bigger leaves, so that's gonna happen. Next one. Alright, so which tree, X or Y, will not need to shed its leaves during the winter? So during winter, some plants shed their leaves. Why? Because you do not want the uh, they will do waste water through water evaporation right so this one the one on the left do you think it needs to share this leaf no need right only the one here ah, because the yeah you always see this on the floor right if you've been to other countries okay so which tree will not need so it's X why? Because the the leaves have a smaller exposed surface area. Oops. Compared. No, okay. Don't have to say compared. Hence, what happens? The rate of water loss. Will, oops. Lesser Okay, so it does not need to shed its leaves Simple okay. By now, do you, do you see that You know, it's like very common stuff being asked A lot of common sense, right? So strong winds can cause the tree branches to break Branches of which tree is more likely to break What is this? <laughs> no? Nope Tree Y. Tree Y. How come? Now, there are a lot of gaps for tree X, right? But tree Y don't have so many gaps. So when the wind blows, what happens to the wind that goes into tree X? Yeah, it's flying fly through. Uh, this one? This one doesn't fly through, right? So we say that there are more gaps. Uh, more gaps. Between leaves and tree x, sorry, tree y, or the sorry, tree x. Wind to fly through right. Cycle. How the water droplets are formed on the others? <laughs> Aren't you the expert at this already? So you shall have the honor of typing it out. Okay? Here you go. You don't have to write it out, I just type it out and then I take a look. You can have the honor of typing it out. So, one thing uh, you're gonna learn during the holidays is to type with 10 fingers.
cooler surface of the okay so the water in the beaker evaporated and and okay and what touched the, the water vapor here must say water vapor right Touch the cooler surface of the plastic sheet, loses it and condenses into water droplets. Yes, that's correct. Right, so all the key words are there. What will happen to the rate at which the water droplets are formed if the temperature in the beaker was increased to 95? So increased to 95 instead of 60? Okay. Yep. Right, this is more water evaporates at a higher temperature, causing more water vapor to form and condense. Okay. Right, so that basically there's more water vapor. Do you pronounce the R when you are talking? <laughs> Why don't you pronounce the R? Yeah, because we are Singaporeans, right? We don't pronounce R. Water vapor is the name of my Pokemon. <laughs> water vapor, the name of your Pokemon. Like, is it you gave the name or they gave it? Or you gave the name. Why is it blue? Blue in color? Yeah. Yeah. Vapor. <laughs> no, it looks like vapor. Okay, next. Huh? Sorry? Sorry? Okay, next one. Ahmad set up the following circuit. I'm trying to pronounce the R. But it's, it takes a while, you know? I'm not used to pronouncing R's. And I call it R's. Is it R or R? I don't know. Okay, never mind. We're Singaporeans. Okay, next. What is a possible measurement for the brightness of the bulb when three batteries were used? 200. Hmm? 200. 200. 2000. 2000, yeah. 2000. Okay, so based on the results, when the number of batteries used is four or below, what is the relationship between the brightness and the number of batteries? As the number of batteries increases, the brightness increases. Yeah. Yeah. We're four, right? As the number of batteries increases, the brightness increases too. Right. So we don't have to say until forty what happens because uh, I'm sorry until four because uh, it's already told to us, okay? Give a reason why the brightness is zero. Oh no. What it, happened? What hit yep. Fused. The bulb fused. Fused the bulb did. Yoda, huh? Let's try to talk in Yoda terms, right? <laughs> fused the bulb did. Is that what he's going to say? Do you know Yoda? Yeah. You know Star Wars Yoda, right? Fused the bulb did, okay? <laughs> Okay, we're going to do it for the rest, huh? So, of course, you're not going to copy the Yoda word, okay? Okay, so Matthew's teacher said that he said that were incorrect. Uh, describe two changes that Matthew should make so that he can test his aim. What's trying to do? How the type of surface affects the distance moved by an object? Okay. Okay, so it's about the type of surface, right? But what do we have here? We have the same surface, oh. My god, what's happening to Matthew? You need to pay attention in class. Huh, sorry? <coughs> you need to pay attention in class. Yeah, never pay attention in class. Uh. Need to pay more attention uh, in class, right? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, what do you... Uh, change the surface of the setup he shall <laughs> what, what, what's next I'm gonna upload this to you and see what the people say <laughs> okay what else what else
actually do? You see the wooden block? The mess? Keep the, keep the same, right? So keep the mess of the wooden block the same he must. I don't really remember Star Wars. Huh? Yoda, Yoda speaks like that. Yeah, Yoda, Yoda is a little green guy. <laughs> but he speaks like that. He speaks like reverse one, no? Remember he died? Uh, yeah, he died. But he's like spiritually there. You know the guy with the pointed ear? Yeah, yeah he's spiritually still there, okay? <laughs> but he, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, besides friction and the force exerted, you see, because it's the force. Uh, which other force is present in this experiment? <laughs> gravity? Yeah, gravitational force, right? And of course, may the force be with you. <laughs> right? Gravity is always with you. Okay? Gravity is always with you. May the force be with you. Alright, so you see gravity is always there, okay? So it's pulling down. Uh, what else? Is there any other answer? Oh, uh, they already said friction, okay, no need. Next. Which block A or B will require less force to move? Wooden B. surface oil, huh? B, yeah? B. Why? Yeah, so all is a lubricant. All is a lubricant. Has reduce friction heat shell. Uh, less force is needed. Easier to move. It must be. Please don't copy like that. Right? Your mom will be like, hey, what's going on? She didn't check. Huh? She didn't check. No, but the point is, uh, but you get the idea, right? Okay? Less force is uh, easier to move, it must be. So fun. Yoda. Okay, let's see how Yoda looks like. Yoda. Yoda. See? Oh, the ah, the green little guy, right? So he always talks in weird. Mm -hmm. Sentence structures. I really don't like Star Wars. Eh. Why? <laughs> eh? He always talk in strange uh, structures. Next one. Very short. Yeah, but he's one of the most. He's 800 years old. No? Wow, he, I didn't know he's 800 years old. Okay, so state the energy conversion when cube A was being. Really... Oh, you don't have that? Oh my god, where did he go? 38, 39. Okay, never mind, we will look at it here, right? Okay, so which cube A will be? Okay, let's take a look. State the energy conversion when cube A was released from the height and landed on the cement floor. Hmm, potential. Yep. Now let's put it right down. Kinetic. Gravitational potential. G, P, E. 2. Kinetic. K, E. So. Sound and heat. Okay, that's great. So, which kilo of you will produce a louder sound? This is three kilogram, huh? C. B. Yeah. Uh, why? Gravity Yeah, because um, it has a greater mass. Unlike me, because I'm Yoda, you know, I'm so tiny. Alright, so it has a greater mass, and what happens? So, it possesses more gravitational potential energy, which is converted... Converted to what? Kinetic... Oops. Yoda, you don't know how to spell. Kinetic energy... And more sound energy. That's it. Alright. May the force be with you. Come on. 
Ding. Okay, so we have a set. You see, at this point of time, do you know that because you have done so many questions, you don't even need to look at the question. Correct now, what do you do? Jump straight lah. Alright, what's the value of x? <laughs> uh, what's the value of x? When someone walks and enters the classroom along the corridor, amount of light detected. No one is present, it's 300. Mm -hmm. 250? Zero. Oh, oh yeah, zero. zero. Ah, zero. So I explain how the above center is able to detect the number of people walking past the door. Every time like, it's like zero mm. like... Maybe someone has passed through, okay? So... Every time someone walks through, a zero will be shown. That's it, right? I mean a zero will be shown. And therefore, there is a, it indicates that somebody has passed through. Right? By recording what? So by looking at the number of zeros, we know how many people walk through. If the person like, is as short as Yoda, then cannot be detected. Yes, if he's as short as Yoda, Yoda, he cannot be detected, right? And especially when Yoda is dead, you know, he's like some spiritual guy flying through, right? Nobody can detect. Yeah, right? This looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> Saber. <laughs> right? People passing through will die. Okay, next. Okay, see, we can go straight. Now, how does the temperature of water uh, red with fabric X change as the time increases? So this looks like some woolen peanut, peanut casing, right? Is this peanut? Did they wrap it with peanuts? <laughs> yeah, they wrapped it with peanuts, right? Peanut casing. So how does the temperature of water red with fabric X change? See, the temperature did not decrease as much as this, right? So, it did, we just say that it did not... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We just need to say that it decreases. As time increases. Alright, so which fabric should mailing use to make a shirt? To keep a person cool. That the person wants to be cool. You don't want to look like a peanut. So which one do you use? The peanut or the non-peanut one? You want to be cool. You want to be cool, you know. Cool. Yeah, non-peanut one. Or peanut is not cool, you know. You see why? You look at the temperature. The non-peanut one is 45, it's cooler. Okay, so should use fabric. Why? Okay, why? Why use why? <laughs> okay, so uh, the water had lower temperature after 20 minutes. This means that it is a better conductor of heat and will increase the amount of heat loss which makes him cooler than wearing the peanut <laughs> clothing okay <laughs> next <laughs> okay which graph A B C shows the oh this is the last one last question for the day now if if I were doing this paper you know, I would write the peanut thing. <laughs> I don't know, just for fun. Huh? Okay, which graph A, B, C shows the correct change in the average temperature if the amount of carbon dioxide increases over time? So, if temp carbon dioxide increases, temperature will go up or down. Okay. Yeah, increase. Alright, so which one shows that? A, yep. So, A, yeah, A. Why? 
as the amount of carbon dioxide increases. But why? Why does the temperature increase when there's more carbon dioxide? Because you trap more heat. Yeah, more heat is trapped. Jail. Locked up. What else? Which word do you use? Trap, jail, locked up. What, what other words describe trapped? I guess we're bad. <laughs> yeah, now we test English, right? More heat is trapped. Jail, locked up, in prison. <laughs> okay, so now option A is track. So which option would you use? Mm. Huh? D. Uh. No, this this option A, B, C, D, right? Which one which one is the correct word to use? You know science they say must use the right keyword, right? Which one is the mm. correct one, yes, right? Very good. You choose the correct one. It's track. In the atmosphere, more heat is trapped in the atmosphere, hence the temperature increases. Right. So what happens to the polar polar? What is that? The uh, North Pole, South Pole. They will die. They will die, but that's not a human being. North Pole, South Pole is a place. Would Why would the place die? It'd be gone. It'd be gone, right? So the the flooded, right? Because uh, the ice will melt. More water increases, right? So Yoda will be fine because he is a little dead. <laughs> okay, so that's Who for killed this. Him? Who killed him? Uh? I actually have no idea. Did he kill himself? I don't know. <laughs> actually, I really don't know. Okay, okay. That's the. That's our last. 